Welcome everybody to Falcon Plays the Westport Independent episode number four. We have been threading some pretty terrible terrain here recently. Um, as you can see, our loyalist suspicion is really high up there. Last episode, I think we kind of toned it down a bit because Frank got knocked well not knocked down, but he got wrecked by the loyalist government. It took him in for questioning. We are never gonna see Frank again. We are trying to make sure that that doesn't happen to Anne or Julie in specific over here too. So we're trying to right now not bust the Loyalist balls here too much and maybe just gain some support in the north with some celebrity news in order for us to kind of complete our run here and don't get shut down before that actually happens. So let's go over here, go forward, and let's see if we have three stories only. Again, the fact that we're missing Frank is really hurtful because it means we're not selling a lot of papers because we're missing out on one extra story as well. So that is indeed help um, hurting our popularity at the moment. Rebels Assault Paperboy, Burn News Shipment. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go anti-Rebel with a story with maybe... Anne. To, um, tone down her suspicion from the Loyalists recently. And even if we piss off the Rebels for now, I think it's fine because we could still... We've done enough stories that are positive in their favor that we could kind of maybe t take a hit or two with them and still be fine. Rebels Assault Paperboy, Burn News Shipment, or... The people fight back against censorship and lies. I like that for our run, but again, we can't piss off the loyalists too much here, so we'll go with this one. This morning, a paper delivery for the Eastern Journal was interrupted by a group of masked figures. A paperboy tried to intervene, but was overpowered and assaulted. The truck was left vandalized and sprayed with words including class traitors and loyalist dogs. The Journal recently had a uh, policy change by deciding to support the new LNMA. Okay, I'm going to remove this one, and I'm going to give this over to Julie does not want to do that one because um, she, hold up, given. As you can see, she's more on towards the rebel side now, so this is something for Anne or Phil. Okay, I figured as much, but I was hoping to get her suspicion down by um, printing something against the rebels, but apparently she's not down with it, so we'll give this over to Anne. She's okay with that one, obviously. Alrighty, next one. The Colt in the West. Is this the story that we printed last time? It is. No. It is, I think. Peter Roberts. Was that the guy last time around? Remember, we. we yeah, it is. Just like the prophet predicted. <laughs> last, um, last episode, we printed a celebrity story to kind of sway, you know, the loyalists from shutting us down about this guy starting his own cult. And here it is, the, um, the, the progression of it. We'll probably do that one next. That's going to be celebrity if I'm right. But hold up, let's see what else we have here. Local factory hires scabs, okay. Government informant killed in fire. New committee to monitor devious content at comic books. Oh, you can't. Don't do that to the comic books, man. Movie star gets wax figure in exhibition honoring local celebrities. Trade routes to Westport closed due to rebellion. I think we need to do one more rebellion one too. Make sure that the government doesn't close us down. So... Government shuts Westport's borders. We'll do the one that's going to be due to rebellion. Today, the government announced the closing of the trade routes to Westport. The decision was made in response to the recent violence and rebel assaults on convoys. As a result, all travel has been temporarily restricted and blockades have been raised at all city exits. When asked how long this would be in effect, the president gave no response. We will scratch that one out. And we will say that it's been closed because of rebellions. Alright, so, I think Phil should be fine with this one. Yeah. And Julie, I will give you the Colt one. Alright, Colt in the West disbanded. Or, Psychic Visionary taken out by government. <laughs> no, we'll go with the Colt one. We started the Colt thing anyway, so we might as well end it. This morning, police broke into Roberts Foundation arresting author Peter Roberts. Charged with suspicion of kidnapping and treason, Roberts has been brought in for questioning. Additional charges include suspicion of fraud. Just like the prophet predicted, the arrival is nigh, stated one of Robert's followers. We're going to go ahead and scratch this one off, and there you go. That's our story for our dude here. Proceed to the layout. Let's see how this is going to do for us in terms of our spikes here. So, Rebels Assault, good in crime and society. Okay. Trade routes, very good. And then this will be pretty good. I like the spread for a team of only three people. Let's go into the marketing. Alrighty. Nord. Probably won't sell too much over here, but let's do like maybe a 10%, maybe 13. West is going to be high in crime and celebrity. Uh-huh. And uh, Okay, so we could sell a lot of newspapers over here in the southern docks. No surprise. We could also sell quite a few over here, so we'll do like a 30. And then 
technically we should lower the southern docks here a bit to sell more at the western front. And then we'll do a bit more here and 13 over here. That's fine. Let's see what our story is going to be about now. No story. Uh, We didn't get shut down, did we? Huh. Ooh, wow, we we sold a ton. Great stuff. The only thing I'm worried about is that there was no uh, interaction between the, the editors. <laughs> or the writers. Okay. Well, popularity actually went up a bit in the north, too. That was a good uh, paper. That was a good one. Aha, here we go. Again, as it mentioned, hitting them a little bit when it comes to um, messing with the Rebels' um, stories to sway the Loyalists, it um, brought down our suspicion by 18, which is actually really good. It gives us a bit more wiggle room. And then our popularity went up by 17. Oh boy, that was a really good paper. No lie, even without Frank, that was actually really good. And again, the most important thing, we dropped suspicion down a bit so we could continue going forward here. Alrighty. Uh, multiple industrial giants suspected of having connections to Violent Gang. We could even do another one towards the Rebels, I think, and still be fine. Uh, new law to improve national security. Westport police shuts down smuggling ring. Westport contractors accused of botched construction work. President visits schools. Uh, okay, maybe that one. LNMA chairman wants to force propaganda onto the press. Or, new LNMA chairman fights for a well-informed public. That would definitely help us out with the Loyalist. No lie. I'm not sure if the story is too palpable for my liking, though. Multiple industrial giants suspected of having connections to violent gang. I like this one a lot. Very crime-related here. Multiple industrial giants suspected of having connections to violent gang. The vile rags, underground puppets, masters of Westport's industries. Hmm. We'll do that one. Vile Rags, the underground puppet masters of Westport's industries. Recent information from an anonymous source implicates several of Westport's major businesses of affiliating with the Vile Rags. As the city's most infamous criminal gang, the Vile Rags are suspected of involvement in over a hundred crimes last year alone. Amongst the suspected companies is Romavo, which owns several businesses throughout Westport. I like the story a lot, dog. Um, which one do we go with this one, though? Uh huh. Suspicion. Phil, you come. Oh, Phil's comfort went up here a little bit finally. And Anne's um, suspicion went down by a lot. Really good. Phil, you want to print this one? He's down with that one. Alrighty, great. Police shuts down prostitution ring in the east. Sounds pretty good. Or police shuts down brothel for not paying bribes. <laughs> Let's go with the shutdown. Last night, police shut down a local brothel in an Eastern District warehouse. According to statements, police have long suspected the location. All patrons have been arrested. Witnesses claim to have heard one of the women pleading that they had already paid for protection. Let's go ahead and remove that one here. And we'll give this over to... Anne? She's down. And we need one more story here. Again, we're trying to keep it... Um, Actually, you know what? None of these stories really implicates the... Rebellions against anything, right? So we're kind of um, tiptoeing between rebellion and loyalists with these stories, which is still fine. Let's go with new law to improve national security. Or, new government initiative to use hearsay as evidence. That's no good. You need hard stone cold facts, dog. Let's see, new law to improve national security. Today's parliament brought forward the first draft of the Public Responsibility Act. The law has recently garnered a lot of praise and is believed to improve national security. The act will allow private citizens to report suspected acts of terrorism or treason to police. It will also allow for police to use these suspicions as evidence for arrests. We'll remove that one. That's fine. And Julie, she's more towards the rebels, but she's still fine with that one. Right. Let's see how these stories do here. Good in crime. Crime in society. And... I would have liked some more celebrity ones for the North so we could continue increasing our thing. Let's go back over here really quickly. And let's see if we can do something better. What if we remove the national security? Actually, wait, wait, one second. Proceed to layout. What is what? That's um, crime alone, right? Crime in society. And... We want to keep the vile rags ones for a fact. These two right here could perhaps go away. New law to improve national security for a fact. Okay, so let's remove this one. Maybe just deny that one for now. 
Presidents Visit Schools? Let's go with that one. President visits schools or President visits private schools while ignoring public schools. Oh, wow. Let's do it with the uh, visit schools. This last month, the president visited 10 schools across the country. The visits were centered around private schools funded by government officials. During his stay, the president spoke both about his career as well as the future in politics. Let's remove that one. Julie, let's see how the story does here. Celebrity, a bid. Okay. We'll have that one. And then we'll have this one. Not much in societal, but it will increase our industrial crime and celebrity, which is um, North and West, if I'm right, which is something that we're trying to win in our favor. So you know what? That's not too bad. Marketing it is. Here we go. That's what I was hoping for. Increase our popularity up here a little bit. So let's go to maybe 19. Industrial and societal. Okay, and crime in the Southern Docks. Okay. This could almost be evenly distributed, I'm going to say. Crime, industrial. Let's go with that. Be like a... 20 over here, industrial and celebrity. Go a bit higher on this one. Maybe like a 25 over here, and... I want to sell a lot more in the northern and west to get some more of that popularity up there. Alright, I'm gonna bank on North and West really enjoying this paper and just giving them the most papers out here. This could affect us if it doesn't sell well, though. I think it should sell decent, but hard to say. Let's go ahead and publish. We'll see how this plays out for us. Hmm, no interaction again with the people. I find that really interesting. Three weeks left, week number nine. What do we got? Nice! Hey, we sold a lot of papers up here in the North and the West. Look at our popularity. Really high in the West now, and it's almost halfway with the North. Pretty good! Our paper's doing actually pretty amazing with only three writers as well. That should be noted. Loyalist, plus one. And suspicion went down again, and our popularity went up. This is good. We're doing relatively good. We were, you know, going really full on against Loyalist uh, at first, which is still what we kind of want to go with. But at the same time, you do have to level it out because if you go full against loyal government or the loyalists in general, you're going to get shut down and you can't get to the end. So you kind of have to tiptoe around it a bit as after a while, as we learned with Frank. You got mail. Most respected editor. Look at these guys. Suddenly I went from the most vile and what was it? They call me at some point very hostile editor. I was called hostile at some point. The vicious slander your so-called newspaper printed about us being related to violent gangs is repulsive. If you continue to write such garbage, we will be forced to... Oh, okay. So, this wasn't even the government. This is, um, Romaville Industries. Not really liking the story that we printed about them being associated with the, um, the vile rags. <laughs> they want to press charges against me, huh? Take me to court. Is that what you want to do? Okay. I don't take kindly to threats, my friend. Our popular is actually pretty amazing. I'm really happy about this. Uh, let's see, is it about time we wrap it up here, or do we have time for more? One second, guys. Oh yeah, I completely misread my timer. We have plenty of time still. Alrighty, so next story. Um, volume's a bit too loud here. One second. That's a bit better. Not necessarily destroying my eardrums here. Uh, Julie, Phil, and let's how they're doing here. Anne is at comfort level medium. Phil is at, you know, still pretty low, but he's not going anywhere. More importantly, we've dropped the suspicion by Anne by a lot. Phil is, you know, a bit suspicious, not too bad. Julie is still kind of high up there, but it's not as bad as it was with Frank, so we're pretty good over here. Excellent. Uh, let's come over here and find out what's happening. We have, um, what is it, three more weeks or four? Something to that extent. Um, so, Romavo Industries wants to possibly press charges, right? Take us to court. Let's see if we have any more Romavo stories over here. To oh, here we go. Romavo outsources to underdeveloped countries. You know, at first I was pissing off the government, now I'm going to piss off Romavo because, you know what, I just like to mess with everybody. Romavo outsources to under underdeveloped countries, or Romavo abandons Westport to unemployment, outsources to underdeveloped countries. I think that's pretty good. A recent report claims that industrial giant Romavo Industries has outsourced almost all their production overseas during the last few years. Meanwhile, several factories in Westport have been shut down, leaving hundreds of people unemployed. This has allowed unemployment in areas like the Eastern Factories to double over the last three years. The only problem is that our, our Eastern support is actually, well, we could kind of max it out with this story. You know what? Let's go with that one. I like this one a lot. And all we really had to do here was just remove or change the title. 
This is going to tell us about overseas. Um, 100 people have been employed in the Eastern Factory doubling of unemployment. Perfect. We'll give this over to Julie for now. Or maybe Community College. Lives by the Eastern Factory, so this will definitely be something that Ju um, Anne is interested in. There you go, Anne. Next one over. Uh, 26 people arrested for protesting. New presidential statue. President speaks at Veterans Gathering. Let's see, maybe something celebrity for the North would be good. New youth group founded to educate the, nation the nation's children. Huh. Well. Let's go with President Speaks at Veterans Gathering. President Speaks at Veterans Gathering or President Shows Unparalleled Compassion and Speech to Veterans. Oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> the, the loyalists will definitely enjoy that title. The President gave a speech at the Military Veterans of Westport's annual conference this last weekend. As I stand before you today, I wish to thank you for your service, the President began. At the end of his speech, the President almost also spoke of lost comrades. Do not cry for your comrades, for their sacrifices have saved our beautiful country. Now, I would like the story for Julie to reduce her suspicion. Is she down with it, though? She's okay with it. Alrighty. Good. And finally, let's go find out first. Um, well, let's give a story here for Phil. I want to find out how these stories are going to be doing for our, our appeal for different areas. Let's see. Construction company. 28 people arrested for protesting. Uh, let's go with new... Let's go with this one. Education. New youth group founded to educate the nation's children or... Loyalists attempt to indoctrinate the nation's youth. That would probably piss them off a bit. We want to get a bit more favor with them before we go back to the propaganda. Anti-propaganda, anyway. Yesterday, the government announced the formation of a new youth group titled Loyalist Youth. The goal is to offer fun and educational activities for intercity children, such as hiking and camping. Children will also be taught loyalist values and earn ranks based on their knowledge and behavior. We can remove that one and just keep it as a, a fun time for everybody. Phil is going to love that one. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Industrial really high, great. Celebrity and societal and societal. I'm not really too crazy about this spread. Which one in particular? Well, societal, the, the, that one's not too great. I definitely want to keep the first one. Industrial is really, really high, so we'll keep that one for Romoville. Plus, we want to piss off Rumbleville anyway. This is going to be societal based, and then we have celebrity and society. This one's really low. The president's speech is going to help us out with the suspicion, but the, the story is just so like, eh. Alrighty, let's remove this one for sure, and the president one as well. Okay. Let's go customs fights back against contraband. Government stops imported movies. No. Customs fights back against contraband. A huge number of imported movies were seized by custom officials last night. The movies in question were all foreign productions that have never made it to the Westport's movie market. Many of the movies are labeled as, sub as subversive propaganda by the government. Smuggling is smuggling. These items are illegal for a reason, said Representative Go regarding the event. Let's go ahead and remove this one. Yeah. Or, you know, that's actually pretty good. Submersive propaganda by the government. Hmm. Let's remove that one. And let's see what this one does. Phil, are you cool with that one? He would be. I'm not completing it yet. So I just want to find out. Crime and societal. I guess that's not too bad. And then we definitely want the Romaville one. Alright, so we just need one more. Okay. President shows that one. That would be for celebrity. Let's see the statue. New presidential statue planned for Central Westport. Government wastes millions of LIBOR on the new presidential statue. So we'll do this one. Today, the government announced a new statue of the president for Liberty Square in Central Westport. Uh, we'll remove the amount it costs to get some favor with the loyalists. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful symbol of our strength of unity. Claims the officials overseeing the construction. All right. Let's see how this one does. Is that the one? Statue? Yes. Celebrity and societal. This might work. Absolutely. And then... It'll do. It's not great, but I think it's better than what we had beforehand. So let's go into marketing. Northern suburbs. Excellent. Celebrity and industrial. So we'll go up to like maybe a 20 here for now. Eastern is kind of low for this time. Or Western is pretty low this time around. But we'll do like a 
maybe a 10 for now. Eastern is really high up, so we'll do like maybe, maybe even a 45. You're not too bad down here as well, so we'll do like a 15, and then the rest we drop over to North. Get some more favor with them. Alrighty, this is good. 30, 45. Mm, that's fine. Publish. Let's see what we have here. No more... Um, I'm really weirded out about the no interactions. Two weeks left, though. Alright, so we're actually really close to actually getting to the end. I'm not sure what happens at the end. Never been to the end. Sold. Really good in the east and south. Our popularity is really high. I think we dropped a bit in the north here. Huh, because we're like at halfway, I want to say. Maybe even the west. Hmm. So, we got plus two with the rebels. Interesting. We increased the rebellion supported by two, but we also lost suspicion from the others at the same time. That's the best way to do it right there, and our popularity did drop by negative three. But we're still relatively high. Alrighty. And I do believe now we do wrap it up, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. We'll come back next episode and probably wrap up our run over here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.